Hello, it's Helder here, and today I'm going to share with you my top nine reasons why I feel that you should sharpen your own knife. Now, there are obviously many more reasons than nine reasons that would pertain, let's say, to your lifestyle and your hobbies and uh, what you utilize your blades and knives for. But for the purpose of today's videos, I'm going to share my top nine reasons with you. So let's get started. Reason number one, extending the life of your knives. So what do I mean by that? Uh, my peers, family, friends, I see them do this all the time. And basically, let's think about uh, grabbing a knife from the kitchen. They'll go and use it, see that it's dull, and what do they do? They end up putting it back in the rack in the kitchen and pulling out a different knife. A newer sharp knife and now the other one is basically rendered useless or unserviceable and ends up in the junk drawer or in the garbage same goes for the application of using a knife out in the field they'll bring a couple knives out with them once one of them becomes dull they'll put that one away fold it up throw it into the pack forget about it and now you have a relatively useless piece of metal uh, as far as for cutting in your pack and if you were just or if they were just to take the time and learn to sharpen and sharpen their own blades they would get a lot more life out of these knives and create a lot less waste and save a good amount of money reason number two gain a greater respect for your knife or blade so as you're sharpening your knife you learn certain nuances from the angle and uh, how to address the burrs and all that just comes from experience of sharpening your knife. And when you have that experience, you're a lot less prone to use your, the blade of your knife as a tool that it was not meant for, such as uh, using it as a screwdriver, uh, using it as a hammer, using it as a prior. So that respect of knowing what it takes to get that good, sharp razor edge on your knife will certainly carry over into the respect that you have for that knife so you end up using the knife for what it was meant for. And it comes down to that old adage of using the right tool for the job. And I basically guarantee that you'll start using your knife for what it was intended for and not for other applications. Number three, sharpening your knife is a form of meditation. Well, at least I'm speaking for myself. As I get into the sharpening process, the sounds, even the smells, uh, with certain stones that I'm utilizing. It basically, I get into the zone and I'm focused on the task at hand, which is getting a sharp edge on my blade and pretty much nothing else matters. So when I do spend those 15, 20 minutes a week sharpening my blades, whether they're for the kitchen, whether they're for out in the field, I do feel a sense of calmness. And that is the meditation that sharpening your knife brings, especially when I'm using a system like this Wicked Edge system, where it just seems to have its own sounds, its own tunes that uh, you kind of get lost in as you're sharpening. Just make sure you're always paying attention because these blades are sharp. Reason number four for sharpening your own knife, safety concerns. As a young Boy Scout, I was always told that the most dangerous knife is a dull knife. And uh, through the years, I've learned that both uh, in theory and unfortunately in application by uh, cutting myself and having that blade bounce around rather than having it nice and sharp and doing what it's supposed to do, which is cut clean through. So when it comes to most applications or most things, especially when you're using tools, safety is always a concern. So when you sharpen your own blade, it will always be ready for the task at hand and at the same time ensuring that you are safe while you are using that knife for whatever task it may be. Reason number five, the more that you practice sharpening your knife, the better that you're gonna become at it. Uh, I mean, that's not rocket science, that's just developing a skill just like any other skill. So if you are timid to begin sharpening your knives and uh, you're worried that you're going to destroy your blades, anything like that, I mean, just do what I do. Start out with the cheapest knives that you possibly have. Learn how to use your sharpener and practice. And just like anything else, the more that you do it, the better that you're going to become at it. So practice, hone in those skills, and no time you'll be able to put a razor edge on your specific blades just because you devoted some time. Reason number six, saving time. 
There are a lot of options, especially when you buy higher end knives where you could send them back to the manufacturer. And for a small fee or for just shipping and handling or even free, they'll go ahead and sharpen that knife for you. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, it could cost a fee and now you're paying every time for that specific blade. But more importantly, you're wasting time. This is going to be time now, sometimes two, three, four, six weeks for you to wait for that knife to come back in order for you to utilize it again. And in the meantime, what are you going to be using? Uh, you're going to be using either an inferior knife or some other knife that you end up getting used to. And we're back to basically wasting time, wasting energy, wasting money. So if you want to save time, learn how to do it yourself. Number seven, your blades are always at the ready. As I mentioned earlier, uh, usually about once a week, I'll take out certain blades and it's not always the same ones and go ahead and sharpen my knives, especially kitchen knives. And what's cool about that is even when it comes to my pocket knives or things that I'll use out in the field or for specific tasks or even fishing, anytime that that event comes up, I know that my knives are at the ready. They're at their peak performance, they're sharpened. And that all comes about because of course I want to hone in the skill, I want to practice, and I want to make sure that my tool is at its best so that once again, safety issues and everything else that we discussed previously are addressed. So whether it's a camp out, whether it's going out in the field, whether it's travel, whether it's a fishing trip, I know that my blades are always at the ready. Trust issues. Now I have a few blades that are quite expensive. And if I am going to rely on someone, even though they're uh, quoted as a professional, I have to rely on that person instead of relying on myself. And for certain tools that I have that, uh, that I hold uh, near and dear to my heart, trust issues come about. So if I know that I have a really good sharpener and I have the skills, I can do it myself and not have to possibly put that blade that's important to me in someone else's hands that might damage it. And sure, they might replace it or cover it or have insurance, but at the same time, that blade that means something to me is no longer serviceable, at least to my standards. So being able to sharpen your own knife takes all of those trust issues away because now it's all about you. And for me, that's what I prefer. And the last reason that I'm going to share with you on why I think that you should sharpen your own blade is the fact that you'll have family, friends, loved ones that are going through similar issues that I discussed today. The fact that you've honed in these sharpening skills, now you could go ahead and share it with your loved ones and be able to sharpen their knives and, and do something good for them. And just because you took the time to get the expertise and the skills to sharpen your own blades. And now you could share that with other people, which to me is uh, very important. Because when you do something for friends and family, loved ones, it feels good, right? And we all need that feel good feeling every once in a while. So bottom line, I want you to also keep in mind that the system and the tools that you are utilizing to sharpen your blade, make sure they're good to go to begin with because you also don't want to invest time and energy in something that's inferior. And then you might learn how to master this specific sharpening kit, but that system might have not been too good to begin with. And now you're gonna to have to go ahead and spend more money and learn another system. And uh, to me, that kind of goes against what we're trying to do here. So right from the get-go, try out a few different systems, see what's in your budget. For me, I'm fortunate enough to have these Wicked Edge systems and uh, they're awesome, never disappoint me. But the main point that I'm trying to get across here is for you to find what works best for you, whether it's within your budget, whether it's within your lifestyle as far as what you travel, what you travel with, uh, space that's available, all of those things. So make sure that you do your homework, find something that's credible, uh, if possible, try it out before you invest a ton of time, a ton of money, and end up regretting it. This is Helder. I hope that you found this information useful.